Hello my friends. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite easy chicken salad recipes, but I'm not going to read to you about chickens, okay? I'm going to give you some clues while I cook, and I want you to see if you can guess what animal I'm going to read about before we get to story time. So, I'm going to give you a clue to get started, and the clue is the beginning sound of the animal name, okay? When you say the animal name, the first sound in it is k. Can you make that sound? K. Can you think of any animals that you've heard about that start with k? Okay, I want you to be thinking. I'm gonna jump over here and start cooking. Here's the ingredients I'm gonna use today. I have chicken, celery, bread and butter pickles, mayonnaise, and pita bread. The first thing I'm gonna do is get a bowl, and I am going to start with a third a cup of mayonnaise. You can always add more, but it's kind of hard to add more chicken and other ingredients to make up for having too much mayonnaise. Now, the next thing I'm gonna add is pickle juice from my bread and butter pickles. So I want one and two tablespoons. Now, I am gonna whisk these two together. Now I'm gonna add a third a cup of chopped up bread and butter pickles. Just kind of stir those around in there. Now it is time to add the chicken. So I have two cups of shredded chicken in this bowl. You could use leftover chicken from another recipe, which is what I'm doing, or you could get one of those rotisserie chickens and take all the meat off of it and shred it up. Just need about two cups of chicken. And I'm gonna stir these together. And then, last but not least, I took a stalk of that celery and diced it up really small. And now I'm gonna add that and fold it in. Now, if you really, really don't like celery, you can kick it right out of there and maybe put in a veggie that you do like. So next, I am going to take a piece of that pita bread and show you something. When you cut pita bread open, guess what? Inside, there is a pouch. So, I am gonna put my chicken salad in this pouch and eat it like a sandwich. Here's my chicken salad pita pocket all ready to enjoy. And I am gonna give you one more clue about the animal. It lives in Australia and Tasmania. If you've ever heard of either of those places, you probably know what animal it is by now. Well, did you put the clues together and figure out that today I am going to read about kangaroos? Yes, the first clue I gave you is the beginning sound, k, because that's the first thing I hear in the word kangaroo. K. 
Then I mentioned jumping because kangaroos are excellent jumpers. That's how they get around. I also mentioned kicking because they are also excellent kickers. And our recipe had a pouch in it because kangaroos are one of the few animals who carry their babies in a pouch that's part of their body until the babies are ready to live on their own. So that makes them very special. And then I also told you that kangaroos are only in Australia and Tasmania. So you may have never heard of those places, but that means the kangaroos are not an animal you are likely to see just anywhere, unless it's like in a zoo or you're in Australia or Tasmania. So we'll talk a little bit more about real facts about kangaroos, but first we're gonna read a fiction, which is a made up story about a kangaroo and it is called Pouch by David Ezra Stein and it's published by G.P. Putnam Sons. When he was a brand new kangaroo, Joey lived in the pouch until one day he peeked out and saw the world and his mama smiling down at him. Mama, said Joey, I want to hop. He climbed out of the pouch and took two hops to the tall grass. Are you B Pouch said Joey. But soon he wanted to hop again. He took three hops to the little hill. Who are you? Rabbit. Pouch, said Joey. But soon he wanted to hop again. He took four hops to the sandy hollow. Who are you? Bird. said Joey. But soon he wanted to hop again. He took five hops to the pasture fence. Who are you? Kangaroo. Pouch, said the two kangaroos. Wait, said Joey. You are afraid of me too? <laughs> They're laughing. <laughs> then they hop, 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 hoppity hopped everywhere. Pouch, said the mamas. No thanks. <laughs> the end. It's a cute story. It's a made up story, but it's based on some real things. For example, I am recommending the book Super Marsupials, Kangaroos, Koalas, Wombats, and more. Okay, and there's lots of interesting facts in here. One thing is I read, if a kangaroo joey, that's what baby kangaroos are called, if a kangaroo joey is scared, it dives back into its mother's pouch and does a somersault to turn upright. <laughs> okay. There's lots of interesting facts in here. Um, here's one more about uh, kicking and tails. <laughs> says, sometimes male kangaroos box each other. They lean back and balance on their tails so they can kick with their back feet. Isn't that crazy? They use their tail like a chair. 
So this nonfiction book is full of lots of interesting kangaroo facts. And I have another nonfiction called Kangaroos, Amazing Jumpers by Lisa Harrington. And it tells all about different types of kangaroos and specifically about how they jump and how amazing they are with their jumping skills. But look how cute. See, there's the baby Joey in his mama's pouch. Yeah. And here they are laying on the beach. So cute. I got one more picture in here that I just have to show you. I thought it was too adorable. It's got a Joey. Remember that's the look. Mama's taking care of him while he's in the pouch. <laughs> And then this is a young kangaroo who has learned how to take care of himself. And so he's going to still be near mama, but won't have to stay in the pouch anymore. <laughs> all right. That's all the time I have for today. I will see you next time.